guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are talking about eyebrows. This has been a very requested video um, about my eyebrows. Um, so an eyebrow routine and how I shape them, how I do them, blah, 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 all that stuff. Just to start with maintenance, um, I do get them waxed um, once every three weeks. So every three weeks I get them waxed. Um, I only really get waxed just the little hairs that kind of grow underneath and that I don't change the shape of them or anything. It's just the natural shape of them. That being said, I am pretty lucky to have quite shaped brows and I don't have to really do much to fill them in or um, to make them darker or anything because they are quite dark. On a daily basis to work and stuff, I don't even bother doing them because I don't need to. I will just um, go over them with just a little bit of brow gel or a bit of gimme brow because that's awesome. It just gives, you know, it just gives them a bit of texture and just makes them look nice and plump and just nice. And so, yeah, that's just what I use on an everyday basis. But uh, like on weekends when I'm going somewhere or if I'm, you know, going out or something um, or I'm actually doing something besides work and being at home, then I will fill them in and this is how I do them. So there are only three um, products that I actually use to fill in my brows. Those three are a powder, a pencil and like a gel for more natural brows which is uh, what I actually did use today because it's what I do use on a regular basis is my brow bar to go by uh, whitening whitening <laughs> and mine's in the shade medium to ebony. I did hate this the first few times I used it but I kind of, I don't know, I tried out all sorts of different things and now I love it, I don't know. I have learned to love it, so that is probably my favourite eyebrow product of the moment. So that's what I am using today, but that's for like a nice natural everyday brow. Another product that I do use is the Chi Chi Pencil. Um, what's it called? The Chi Chi High Definition Eyebrow Pencil in Medium Brown. So I will use this usually if... Um, I am sort of in the third week of my sort of eyebrow cycle, you can call it. So usually um, the week that I am due to get them waxed, they are just kind of all over the place. So the pencil is really good for that because you can sort of carve out the exact shape you want, sort of. I don't know, it's hard to explain, but this is really, really good for when um, I'm sort of, you know, my brows aren't all fresh and nice and easy to do. So this is nice to use when they're a bit difficult and the last product i use is the anastasia beverly hills dip brow pomade in ebony um i used to love this stuff but it is very very intense i will only use it occasionally if i'm doing a really really bold look when i'm going clubbing or something um Barely though anymore. I like a more natural brown now, but this is very good. It's waterproof and stuff, so it doesn't budge, um, stays on, but it gives you a really intense, crisp line, and it is very dark. So I don't know. I don't use that much anymore, but definitely recommend if you're looking for something like that. So yeah, as I mentioned before, Gimme Brow. This is probably like the fourth or fifth tube I've gone through in a year. Because I started using this this time last year. It is literally my holy grail product of all time. <laughs> I absolutely love this stuff. I use it every single day. No matter which one of these I use, I'll always, always, always use this. Or I'll just use this on its own. It is just amazing. And I love it. And I've never tried anything like this before. I know that it is quite pricey for this tiny little thing. Um, and I know there are some equivalents like in the drugstore like L'Oreal and Maybelline have one and maybe a few others but I'm just scared to try them because I just love this so much and I'm scared the others won't be as good and also I love that this has such a tiny tiny little brush so you can just really get in there um, and the other ones have quite big brushes but if you guys have tried the other ones and you think it's as good as this let me know because I might try it one day anyway um, so so yes, those are the products that I do use on my eyebrows. Is there much more to say than that? Um, no, not really. Just one more thing I should say. Do your eyebrows. Don't neglect your eyebrows. Take care of them because eyebrows 
frame your face and literally first thing you see is eyebrows on someone's face and if they look like shit then your whole face looks like shit and if you do your makeup so amazing and like you do beautiful eyes and your whole skin looks flawless and you don't do your eyebrows it looks like absolute shit so just don't neglect your brows do them learn to do them nicely don't overdo them um, a lot of people I see overdo them way too much and it's like Calm down, calm down, take a seat. Um, go with a soft hand and I don't know, just experiment with products really. That's what, that's sort of the key to finding the best way. Um, the, like different products are for different people, for different eyebrows, different needs, like everyone needs something else. These products work for me, they may not work for you, they may work for you, don't know. But you sort of have to test, it's sort of a trial and error, just with everything else really. See what suits your your eyebrows, your needs, see what looks the most natural, and just what's easy for you and works. But always, you know, less is more. That's all I can say. So without further ado, let me show you how I got from this to this. <laughs> Let's move on now. So first of all, what I'm going to do is just grab my little spoolie and just brush out my eyebrow hairs into the shape that I want them. Then I'm going to grab the product that I'm using today and that is just my brow bar to go. And I'm just going to use a little angle brush that comes inside that just because I find that that is the only brush that I can make this product work with. Like any other of my brushes, I can never get them to work with this. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab a little bit of product. I'm only using um, the middle shade there. I'm just going to grab a little bit of that. And what I do is I like to start um, from, a lot of people start from the tail of their brow. But I like to start from the front of the brow and I just like to start from this section here underneath. So I just cover a nice crisp line following my natural brow shape there just to like make it look really crisp and cleaned up. So yeah, I don't make my eyebrows thicker. Um, or anything or I don't change the shape of them because I am quite lucky that they are quite um, full and dark so I just sort of just neaten them up and just make them look a bit more neat and just full so then I just do the same thing over the top And I just follow the shape of my natural brow. Okay, now when I come to the tail of my brow, what I like to do is brush it up like this. And I grab a bit and I literally just follow just the bottom, the very bottom of my eyebrow. So where the bottom hairs start. And I literally just sweep the product just underneath that. And the reason why I um, brush them up is so that I can see where the bottom ones start. Um, so that the top ones don't sort of fall on top of it. It's much easier to find the bottom that way. And I do extend it um, just that little bit, not that much, it's too much. <laughs> so yeah, I do extend that out a little bit. And after I've done that bottom, I just grab my spoolie again and brush them back into shape and I just go over the top and do the same thing. Now 
Now this is the only part where I slightly overdraw. Um, just up here in my arch. I just arch them out a tiny, tiny little bit more. So I just add a bit more product just on top of the hairs there. And then I just go over the brow one more time and just fill in any little bits that aren't as dark as the rest. But with that being said, I don't go over the like the middle bit here because we don't want that to be dark. Because that's I think that's where people go wrong. They do this centre bit um, too dark and then it makes your whole eyebrows look way too intense. And sometimes I do have a bit of difficulty getting the powder to stick to my skin. So what I do is I grab a little bit of the, um, the wax, just one dip of my brush into the wax and then I dip it into the colour again and just go over that just that little section with the wax just because it makes it stick a little bit better that's the only thing about powder I feel it's the only bad thing is that when you try to go over the parts where your skin is it's a bit harder to do that whereas with a pencil it is so much easier but then again it's so much easier to overdraw them so now with whatever is left over on my brush, I'm not dipping it in anymore. I'm just going over the head of my brow and just sort of sweeping it through like that. I do like to go upwards sometimes because you get nice natural strokes. And then just brush that out again. Okay, so once that's finished, then what I do um, always, I never skip this step. I go in with my Benefit um, Gimme Brow and I just go over my brow with that. And this just thickens them, gets any spots that may have been missed, and it sets the little hairs in place so they don't budge. And that's that. So there's one more step that I've been doing to ensure that my eyebrow hairs do stay in place all day. Or if I'm going, um, if I'm going out clubbing or something like that, um, or I'm going to an event, and I don't want any of these little um, hairs going out of place, and I literally want them to stay rock hard in place. I just grab my little spoolie and a little bit of hairspray. And I just spray a bit of the hairspray on the spoolie and I run that over my brow and this, you actually have no idea how good this is because, because it literally just sets them rock hard in place and they will not move for the whole day. Like you could probably wake up and go to sleep and your eyebrows would still be in perfect shape. <laughs> so after that, um, I like to clean them up a little bit. So what I like to do after that sometimes, just to clean it up, I don't do this all the time, only if they're looking a little bit sloppy, is I'll um, just grab a light concealer. Um, I'm just using this one. It's my Max Studio Finish Concealer in NC20, which is literally nearly empty. I'm just going to use a little bit of that just on a concealer brush. And I'm just going to grab that and just tidy up my brows. By putting that just underneath and then just blending that out with my finger this actually makes the biggest difference you wouldn't even think so 
but it makes them look so much neater. I did get a little bit of concealer on my eyebrow. So I'm just gonna go in with my Gimme Brow again. And I'm just gonna touch up those little bits. And that, my friends, is my finished eyebrow. So let me just zoom you guys out. So you can see like the difference between my brow being so messy and just not done at all. And then compared to this one, it just looks like, you know, I didn't, I didn't make them a lot thicker or anything. It just looks so, so, so much neater and just, it makes your whole face, like your eyebrows frame your face. It just makes your face look completely different it makes your makeup look so much more flawless like if you do a whole face of makeup no matter how good your makeup looks if your eyebrows are not done nicely then it will just ruin your whole face literally i i can't even explain how much of a difference it makes so yeah i'm just gonna go do the other one and i'll be right so that's it for my eyebrow routine guys i hope you enjoyed it or found it a bit helpful or learned something or whatever <laughs> so be sure to give me a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it it helps me out so much and do subscribe if you haven't already i would very much appreciate that and i'm gonna go and i'm gonna see you in my next video which will be sometime very very soon thanks for watching guys bye